today on Dino Squad. Fiona and Roger enter an experimental vehicle race, but a swarm of mutant locosaurs could stop them from crossing the eco-friendly finish line. Here they come, and there they go. Week three in the Get a Life competition, and it appears that neither of our contestants has gotten a life. Let's move in closer to see how they've been wasting their lives. Looks like by creating some kind of strange electronic tray. It's not a tray, Caruso. I'm making a photovoltaic solar cell for power. Speaking of power, my solar cell's shaping up to produce about 15 times the average output. You might as well pack it in right now. I beg to differ, Fee. It's going to be me representing the school in the Earth Day Challenge and not you. Sorry, Raj, but my vehicle design is going to take it. I hope you didn't spend too much time on that, because I'm afraid it's going to be this bad boy here that'll represent and bring home the trophy and the cash prize. We'll just see about that. Oh yes, we will. And so, competitive spirit aside, it looks like yet another installment of Get a Life ends with moi being the only one with a life around here. <laughs> As you all know, one of you will be chosen to compete in a multi-state Earth Day celebratory race. From Boston, Massachusetts to Akron, Ohio, using only an ecologically friendly vehicle of your own making, the faculty has completed their judging and picked a winner. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be me! me! However, Due to a rule change by the Eco Race organizers, it is now a team competition. I am happy to announce Fiona Flagstaff and Roger Blair have won in a dead heat, each scoring 93.7 out of a possible 100 points. Roger and Fiona will be the team that represents Kittery Point High School in the Earth Day Eco Race. A, a team? team? I'm not sure I understand what the problem is here, you two. Don't get me wrong, Ms. M. I'm not upset that the faculty recognized my genius. My score was the same as yours, Roger. I worked really hard on my designs. I did too. The problem is, Ms. M, I had my heart set on making my dreams, my visions, into reality. Into the eco car that would win the race. I had some great ideas. I really wanted to see how they would come out. Well, just make it together. But then it wouldn't be mine. Or mine. Look, there's no changing it now. You're entering the race as a team. The school needs you to work as a team. You can do this. It's going to be great. Hey, guys, congrats. How's the eco vehicle coming? It's not. That's because you won't listen. I would listen if your ideas made sense. Well, they're better than your stupid ideas. Yeah, well, your ideas are worthless as well as stupid. How's that? Stupidly worthless ideas. Um, okay. Sorry I asked. If you would just look at the way my design uses a carbon beam chassis of composite materials and bulkheads to support the loads integrated into a non-load-bearing composite belly pan, you'd see it's better. Child's play. You have to admit the genius of mine proved power to weight ratio with my lithium ion battery packs, augmented, I might add, by my sophisticated peak power trackers. I worked really hard on a redesigned trailing arm suspension. That's nothing compared to a new version of a single reduction direct drive I came up with. Guys, guys, chill for a second. You guys are a team. At least you're supposed to be. They're right. We have to get to work. And you have some talent. How about this? You handle the vehicle part, and you handle the high-tech stuff. See, it's all going to work out. Now who's living in a dream world? Experiment E3493C. Inspired by how locust swarms have devastated human civilizations in the past, I am developing a new breed of primordial ooze-enhanced locusts.
ironic how these mutated locusts have so much in common with the pathetic monkeys that swarm all over this planet, destroying everything they set upon, devouring it, laying waste to it, and then moving on until nothing is left. These mutated locusts may be a good first step in reshaping the planet and ridding it of the unwanted human occupants. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the third annual Eco Race Challenge! It promises to be quite an exciting race from here in Boston to the finish line in Akron, Ohio! The environmentally friendly vehicles are at the line. Contestants, start your environmentally friendly engines! Get ready and... I can't even see the other contestants. We are in last place by a mile. I'll give you a little hint whose fault this is. And it's not me, Fiona. No way, Raj. Don't be blaming me for something that's clearly your fault. Here they come, and there they go. Past the first checkpoint. The Kittery Point team should be through here any second. Or not. Hmm, where are they? Where are we? I thought the navigator was supposed to be in charge of, oh, uh, I don't know, <sighs> navigation? I'm working on it. And do you mean by that you're working on my very last nerve? I'm stopping to ask for directions. You see me? I'm a guy. Guys do not stop for directions. Then where are we, mister? I'm not stopping for directions, guy. I'm on it, but my GPS isn't quite working right. In fact, nothing is working on this thing. You see that? Now we're gonna have to deal with a thunderstorm, too. Yeah, well, you wanna head west on Route 92, but you gotta head north first after heading east a little bit. You're gonna wanna turn at where the old Jenkins farmhouse used to be before it burned down, and you head on for about all three miles to where the giant oak was, uh, the one that got struck by lightning. Huh? Of course, they cut the tree down with some good kindling. Uh, then after that turn, you need to... Roger. You know those dark clouds to the east? Don't tell me. It's not a thunderstorm? Locust! I ain't never seen locust that big! Sir, you need to get out of here and fast. But my truck won't start. Is it a stick? Yep. Pop the clutch. We'll give you a push. Just don't look back, okay? What about you two? We'll be fine. Don't worry. Trust us. Go, Go Dino! Dino! <laughs> What is it, Caruso? Are Roger and Fiona in trouble? Huh? Who? Oh, no, I'm looking at my favorite fashion website, and I just found out that a certain designer is discontinuing an entire line of pants. It's a crime! Those pants make me look so good. Caruso, we left you in here to track the race. 
Not the latest fashion trends. I'm sure Fiona and Roger are fine. Here. See? They're in Pennsylvania, right in the middle of a huge mutant sore outbreak. What? Fiona! Roger! Come in! Are you guys okay? You're surrounded by mutant sores. I think we noticed. It's kind of hard to miss a plague of huge locust sores eating everything, and I mean everything, in their path. It's not pretty. We're safe for the moment, but we kind of forgot to pack our chillers and spillers. Stay put. We're on our way. It seems that my mutated locusts have settled down to eat. You two keep tracking them and compile the data in the experiment file. I'm late for a meeting. Oh, they're like eating machines. I can't think of anything I'd rather not be than dessert for those horrible, ugly, disgusting bugosauruses. There's got to be a way to control them. Keep them away. True. True, good idea. Locusts and grasshoppers and cicadas all respond to sound. What about something that could move? Automated. Excellent idea. And it would also create the rhythmic sound we need. Perfect. And it would help if it looked like one of them. At least a little. Right, exactly. Just make sure we keep a running list of the parts and machinery we use so we can pay the farmer back. Hey, check it out. We made a tractor bug. I don't think I like our eco-vehicle much at all. Me neither. It's absolutely lame-tastic. I wish I had done better on the wiring for the motor controller. No, it's a great setup, but if you rewire it like this... Dog! I wish I'd thought of that. I wish I'd worked out better hydraulics to reduce brake drag. No, it was a good design, but if you had recalibrated the pressure like this, it would be better. I didn't think of that. Brilliant! You'll increase power by 180% if you rewire the panels in this sequence. Perfect. And these bypass diodes could be moved here for better efficiency. Absolutely. That will double the power return. I wish we had thought of all this earlier. We would have if we had listened to each other a little more. Just needs a few more spare parts to tie it up. I saw some machinery outside that should do the trick. Except it's outside. I saw it too. Let's get it. Bugasauruses? Hurry, Roger! You've got a ton of them on your tail! managed to get inside. Finished! Just in time. Now, let's see if our tractor bug here will work. Let's crank it up and clear a path. Is a lot of locusaurs. They don't call it a swarm or a plague for nothing. Look, Fiona and Roger. Whoa, they're gathering all the locusaurs together. Looks like it's chilling and spilling time. Don't let the tractor bug die. Check the fuel line. Got it!
Crusoe, fix me up. Go, Dino! This is so gross. of bugs. That was the most disgusting thing I have ever experienced. Disgusting? No way. That is so cool. Swimming with locusts. More like swimming in locusts. I think I'm gonna be sick. Can I keep them all? No, Buzz. You cannot keep a swarm of locusts. Where would you put them? Besides, they already belong to someone, and I think we should return them. Well, thanks for the chilling and spilling. We've got a race to finish. Aren't you guys too far behind? You probably already lost. We may be behind. But it's not over till it's over. Plus, we managed to make a few changes to our eco-vehicle that might just give us an edge. Here, Here come, come three of the contestants. contestants. It's neck and neck. Oh, oh. Well, wait a minute. It's the, the team from Kittery Point. Point. And, and they've, they've taken, taken the lead. lead. And they've just won the race. What an amazing finish. That's all I have to say. Wow. I mean, you two came from way behind to win this race. You should be very proud. And I have to say, the whole Wings transformation was truly inspired, especially given the fact that current air travel leaves a very large carbon footprint on the Earth's environment. Very inventive, you two. Very inventive. So, I have to ask, whose idea was this anyway? It was hers. She did it. No way, it was his. Actually, I guess we did it together. Taking each other's ideas and... And perfecting them, together. Awesome! Sounds like a true team effort. Now, who wants to hold the trophy? Huh? huh? Don't know what it is, sir. They said it was a special delivery for you. Open it. Nice work, you two. You really were a team. Well, at least we learned to be one. You know, one of my favorite quotes from my main man, Thomas Edison, is that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I think it ought to be something more like, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% teamwork. Yeah, great, okay, enough with the talky talk. Where's the cash prize you won? Let's break it out, let's start spending. Um, we kind of gave the money away. To someone we thought could really use it. I'm ruined. My farm is completely ruined. D. 
Dear Sir, my teammate and I use some of your equipment. Please accept this check as reimbursement and use whatever is left over to cover the destruction caused by the locusts. I'm shaved. I'm shaved! Woohoo! Nice work. Right back at you, teammate. Anything interesting on the dinoscope? Not a spot of trouble anywhere in the globe. And that's got me worried. We haven't heard a peep from Velocity in over three weeks. Not so much as a mutant hiccup. It's not like Velocity or any other predator to sit around and do nothing. Maybe he's on vacation, getting a massage and facial at the La Brea Tar Pits. There is one thing that's got me curious, though. There's been increased seismic activity around the Hawaiian Islands, and a colleague of mine said the dolphins have been acting rather oddly. Let's try increasing the scope sensitivity. I'm picking up some very faint readings near Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, and Kilauea. Volcanoes? Why would the readings be so faint? Beats me. There's only one way to find out. Mr. Harrington, it's Ms. Moynihan. Any chance of your substituting for me for a few days? Wonderful. I want to take five of my best students on a field trip to Hawaii. Oh, yes. Yes. Here we come! <laughs> this jet is fast! And it really runs on biofuel? Oh, yes. My old friend, Dr. Weisskopf, designs low-emission experimental engines. He insisted I try out his latest baby. I can't believe I'm going to Hawaii! I'm actually going to Hawaii! Dude, if you say you are going to Hawaii one more time, I am going to go into pterodon mode and peck all the hair off your head. You don't understand. I've been dreaming of going surfing in Hawaii my whole life. And wouldn't you know it, the day I arrive, there's an extreme freestyle surf contest. It's kismet. Mwah. But you've never surfed a day in your life, and the waves in Hawaii are massive. Don't be ridiculous. I've been surfing since I was three. On my video console, on my bed, on the sofa. I even surf the TV. Besides, surfing is no different than skateboarding. But you don't skateboard. Exactly. So there's no difference. What? You sure you don't mind going alone, Erwin? I'm happy to go with you. Don't worry about me, Ms. Moynihan. I prefer to surf... Uh, travel alone. Okie dokie, then. I'll check into the hotel and set up a command center. Call me if you find anything. <clears throat> Good boy, Rump. We'll look for a place to recycle this properly. And we'll make sure to have a chat with Caruso about his trashy habits. Everything is on schedule, Dr. Velassi. Good. In a matter of hours, the volcanoes will erupt. Then the humans' tropical paradise will become a dinosaur breeding ground. Not a bleep or blip for miles. Which could only mean one thing. Surf's up! This place truly is a paradise. Yeah, I just hope it stays one. The way things are going, in a few decades, we could ruin what took millions of years to create. It's not that bad, Fio. Mother Nature's a tough lady. She could take care of herself. Not if everyone litters like that. Pull over. The Earth may be tough, but with six billion children messing up their playpen, Mother Nature's got her hands full. If each of us just did a little bit to reduce pollution and improve the environment, it would sure make her job a lot... Did you hear something? No. I think that dolphin's been following us. It's trying to say something to me. Probably that we're supposed to be checking out Mount Aloha. Maybe if I go dino, I can communicate with her telepathically. Go dino! Oh, 
Or maybe you'll scare her back to Bora Bora. I got a thought from her before she swam off. Something strange is threatening the dolphins and the island. That's what we're supposed to be checking out. What are you doing? People have caused enough harm to the dolphins. It's about time we help them. We're supposed to be checking out the situation on Mount Aloha. So we'll check out Mount Aloha after we go on your wild dolphin chase, right? <laughs> Surfer stardom, here I come! Aloha! I want to enter the surf contest. Can I rent a board? Dude, you don't have your own ride? No, and my mom wouldn't let me use the dining room table. That'll be 20 bucks. And how much for the entry fee? Oh, you don't have to pick out the cash, bro. You have to pick up the trash. One bag full, to be exact. That's okay. I'm fine with paying the fee. Dude, money isn't gonna keep our island green. We are! No trash, no splash! <sighs> Spew. It says here, Kilauea means spewing, so named because of frequent eruptions that spew lava. It's the most active volcano on the planet. Yeah, well, this scanner is looking pretty active too. We better take a closer look. Did you know that all the volcanoes in the world release 200 million tons of CO2 a year? Yep. But did you know that global fossil fuel emissions release over 25 billion tons of it? Yep. Dude, is there anything you don't know? Yeah. For one thing, I don't know what's causing this mutant blip or why it's getting bigger fast. I got a feeling we're going to find out even faster. Either the Hawaiians are building a really big subway, or we're in deep dino. This looks like a lava tube. You mean we're gonna be squeezed out like hot toothpaste? No! A lava tube is formed when lava travels below the surface. When the flow stops after an eruption, the lava drains out and leaves a tunnel. Cool. I wish it was, but judging by the temperature, there's plenty of lava nearby. I better alert Ms. Moynihan. Dino one of Mother Source. In lava tube. Check out the... You're breaking up, Dino One. Can't read. Say... Our signal isn't getting through this rock. There's something shaking down here, and I don't think it's hula dancers. Come on! You dropped this. Huh? Oh, must have slipped out of my hand. You dropped these, too. No way. Uh-huh. Don't you think this is kind of silly, looking for a fish? Dolphins are mammals, Max. And no, I don't think it's silly to follow my instincts. I've got instincts too, and they tell me your dolphin isn't going to show up. <gasps> you were saying? That my instincts stink. The only way I'm going to understand what she's saying is to go dino again. Maybe she won't be so frightened if I change more slowly. Go Dino! Wait, I'm not going to eat you. I can understand you better this way. Just a sec, I need to take a breath. What 
did she say? That there's some kind of foreign animal in the area, something the dolphin's never seen before. It's threatening the island and its ecological balance. Whatever the thing is, it appeared just after a big metal shark swam to the island. She wants us to follow her. To the big metal shark that swims. That's what she said. Caruso says a lot of silly stuff too, but we don't follow him everywhere. This place really is awesome. Excuse me. Oops, my bad. Thanks. Oh man, can you believe people like that? They do it every day. What's your name? Leilani. You're very lucky to live around here, Leilani. It's the prettiest vista I've ever seen, next to the reflection in my mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's even prettier without the trash. Thanks for your help. Mahalo! Um, bye. <laughs> Velocity. You guys really are smarter than some of us give you credit for. We better find out what Velocity's up to. Sure wish I had an extra large pizza right now with anchovies and salami and sausage and peppers and... Enough already! I had indigestion at anchovies and I was hungry too. Why do I think that's not your stomach grumbling? Because my stomach doesn't light up the scanner like a five-ton mutant! That's it. If every one of us picked up just a few pieces, I bet we could clean the entire planet in no time flat. I better get another bag. Wow, and I better get back to the surf competition before it's over. We better report in. Dino 3 to Mother Saurus. Go ahead, Dino 3. We're in Velocity's submarine. He's got some worms in a tank. It's marked Nereus virens. They're marine sandworms, indigenous to the temperate regions of North America. Why would Velocity go to the trouble of importing a bunch of earthworms to Hawaii? <gasps> Prepare the rest of the worms for ooze contamination. I want to be ready to release them under the other islands as soon as the volcanoes erupt. That explains the seismic activity Ms. Moynihan was picking up. His mutant worms must be undermining the island. If the lava breaks into them, it could cause massive eruptions. But why? Because by spewing hot gases into the atmosphere, he'll create his own mini global warming and raise the island's temperature, making it more hospitable for... Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs. I think Mother Nature is going to need our help. Freeze! Sir! Uh, ah! Get them! We're trapped! When the going gets tough, the tough go dino! Yes, there isn't enough room. I feel like a Sardinosaurus! Where 
did that come from? You could use a cold shower, dude. Let's go! What? Sorry it took so long. I got carried away. This one's full of bottles and cans for recycling, and this one's ordinary trash. Awesome! Hit the waves, dude! Look at me! I'm doing it! I'm surfing in Hawaii! My dreams come true! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I can't believe that people are so thoughtless that they'd mess up my dream! I'm not ready to be worm food yet. Wait! One of those tunnels ends at an undersea shelf just a few hundred yards north of us. If we can get Velazzi to chase us, this could be the weak link in his plan. Come on! Net torpedoes. The dinosaurs have gone into a kelp bed. Follow it. But, sir, just do it. Get down. for the coastal shelf, you brainless human! Fool! I'm surrounded by human fools! <laughs> I'm proud of you all for working together to stop Velocity before he could ruin such a beautiful paradise. We're going to have to do a lot more than stop mad scientists like Velocity if we want to keep this planet of ours healthy. Yeah, and we can't leave it up to others to do. It starts with each one of us doing his share. One dude really can make a difference, dino or not. What do we do when we see some trash? We keep it up to red hot flash! And why do we clean up all this litter? Because we want our food to glitter! That's right! We're not gonna litter anymore! We're not gonna litter anymore! Mahalo! 
day on Dino Squad. When Velocity's henchmen capture his dino teammates, Caruso must use his offbeat talents to rescue his a friends. A dash of strawberry peach? Maybe a hint of lavender honeysuckle? Yes, my pets. Transform your world into one magnificent hive. I thought ants lived in colonies. Hive, colony, potato, potato. I'm demonstrating how ants work collectively. To do what? Ruin picnics? Let me give you the 411. Ants are extremely sophisticated. See their antennas? Ants use them to find and taste food, detect air currents, feel surface textures, hear, and smell. Enabling them to ruin picnics. Enabling them to communicate by emitting pheromones that the others receive through their antenna. It's the most effective form of nonverbal communication. <laughs> Okay, smart guy. Where's your science project? Hello? Mixing chemicals? Hello? These are supposed to be science projects, not vanity projects. If it's Caruso's, it's a vanity project. I was just gonna say that. I don't know what practical applications you guys are hoping to achieve. I'm illustrating the chemical reactions that cause volcanoes to erupt. Real practical, Maxi boy. I, on the other hand, am working on a cure for a planet-wide crisis. Global warming? Oceanic pollution? Rampant deforestation? Depleting resources? Rough, dry hands. It does smell kinda nice. Hey, what's happening to my ants? The smell from that lotion is driving them crazy! Way to ruin my project, Caruso. They're loose! They're in my electromagnetic deionizer. Oh, I suppose this is my fault too. We were all doing just fun till you started stinking up the place. Fine, I get it. I can't design big fancy machines like Roger or motorcycles that go up the sides of buildings like Fiona. I only come here because we all got oozed and I can morph like the rest of you. Where are you going? What's the difference? It's not like I have anything to offer here. Caruso, wait. I understand your frustration with Caruso. He can be vain and shallow. And Aya, he does have a tendency to be self-absorbed. And yes, he's often selfish and, uh... Maybe we'd feel sorrier for him if he wasn't so conceited. He does have a big ego. It's his way of compensating for his inadequacies. He doesn't feel like he has anything to contribute here. Well, you have to admit, Hair gel and moisturizers are never going to save the world. Everybody has important skills, even if their value isn't immediately obvious. Where are you going? Somebody has to bring him back. Let's see. Sporting goods, 10% chance. Skateboard shop, 2%. La Boutique Day Spa, I think we have a winner. So nice. Listen, Caruso. I came to say we're all sorry about before. Uh, you are Caruso under there, right? Shh. You're disrupting my chi. I'm sorry, but you can't be in here unless you're a paying customer. <laughs> Would you like individual services, a day pass, or the complete Caruso? The complete what? The Caruso. It's a complete line of organic, homeopathic lotions, masks, and scrubs that are custom made for us by your friend in there, Erwin Caruso. Very popular. Really? Caruso? Um, sure, why not? I'm sorry, uh, we don't allow any electronics inside. No phones, no wireless communication devices. I just don't get why you have to quit. Like any of you are gonna miss me? It's not like I ever have anything to contribute. What are you even doing here? We're friends, Caruso. Why else would I be wearing a Cobb salad? We all belong on the team because we each bring unique talents. And what are mine, exactly? Um, well, there's, uh... Hi, Caruso. Love your new strawberry sea salt scrub. Totally awesome. Thanks, Jeannie. 
I'm thinking of using the same blend for a new seaweed wrap. Ooh, can't wait to try that. Hi, Max. You stand for power yoga? Yoga? Um, no, I don't do yoga. Really? I thought as an athlete it would be part of your training. Now, what is it I bring to the squad exactly? Well, you always... I mean, sometimes, that is. Look, just because I can't think of anything doesn't mean you don't. That's the best you can come up with? Uh, excuse me, uh, but what is in this new moisturizer? It's made my skin look amazing. Sorry, Sandra. Trade secret. My husband is raving about your citrus aftershave. I'm hearing that a lot. It's like you're royalty around here. Yeah, and my vast knowledge of salt scrubs and moisturizers is really useful to the squad. Can you believe these readings? Has Max checked in? Nope, and he's not picking up now. You three can probably handle it without Max and Caruso. If it turns out to be too big, pull back and wait for help. Sir, don't try to stop me. My aunt's in there. Fiona, I can't believe you made up a story like that. What do you mean? Somebody outside was talking about giant ants. At least one of them's mine. Ugly! Do we file them under mutant ants or simply mute ants? How about we file them under de ooze first and make bad puns later? First, we need to round them up. And how do we do that? Go, Go Dino! Dino! Your strategy worked. I'm picking up three dinosaur readings. My mutated ants have attracted those perfect dinosaurs. Get ready to spring the trap. We better round up those strays. I'll make them a trail. Mmm, <laughs> sucrose. It's working. Huh? Oh, as if ginormous mute ants weren't bad enough. <laughs> Dr. Velocity wants everything. Dinosaurs, ants, rope them up and take them in. Now I'll never get my science project done. Thanks, Buzz. Giant mutant ants and Dr. V's henchmen? So not fair! Not so fast, giant ant dudes. Picnic isn't over yet. Okay, I came back with you, Max, but I don't see the rest of the squad lining up to make nice. Hmm... I don't see any of them at all. Where have you been? Why didn't you respond to my signal? Sorry, I didn't have access to my comm unit. Understandable. It can be hard to always have to be on call in case you're needed. Not for me. I'm never really needed and everybody knows it. Sorry to say this, Ms. M, but I'm officially putting away my dino plates. I understand. But how about one more mission? I'm sure Roger, Fiona, and Buzz would appreciate it. Giant mutant ants and Dr. V's Oozer Losers? There goes my chi. Think of it as a grand finale. Focus on curing the ants now that we have room to breathe. 
Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Sleepy time gas again. Status report. All of the subjects are fast asleep and ready for transport. We're in time to follow. Guys, wake up! Rise and shine! We have to get out of here! Forget it, I already tried that. Great. What now? Quick, before they see us! Wakey, wakey, critters! What does Dr. Velocity see in you ugly creatures? At least I can go around without a mask. Which combination should I try next? Peppermint cantaloupe or strawberry jasmine? Can we focus on the task at hand? I focus, but since all we can do for now is follow, why not think about my other work? Quick, hang a right! They're going straight. I've spent a lot of time out here, researching the mud baths. There's a shortcut we can take those trucks can't use. That road leads straight to Boston. Beating Velocity and his men back to Raptordyne may just give us the edge we need to free the others. Good call, Caruso. Now let's block the entrance. I'll release the ants. While Velocity's goons are messing with them, you go and let the others free. And if one of us gets caught? That's why we're splitting up. No sense risking both of us at the same time. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Ah! Don't let it get away! Never mind them! Secure the T-Rex! This is so not good. This is a great day, men! Will be once I figure out how to free my friends. So, you need a plan to free Max and the others. Who am I kidding? I'll never get them out on my own. Huh? Oh, man! Hey, get off! It must be my stupid lotion. It's making them go crazy. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. I didn't change right on camera. Now what do I do? Oh, taxi. <laughs> and I owe it all to years of yoga. You never know when a little moisturizer will come in handy.
Game on! This ought to fit. Want some hand lotion? Yummy grapefruit. You there. What are you doing? Free samples, today only. Attention, attention. Mutations loose in Hangar D. Units Charlie and Delta respond. Dr. Velocity's orders. Emergency insect repellent. Distribute this to everyone. Suckers. Did I say repellent? I may have meant attractant. Careful, guys. I'd hate for you to gum up the works and... Oh, there you have it. No! Get the systems back online! Hey! Want to sample my new melon medley fragrance? Seriously, it's all about brand loyalty. Mutated ants are everywhere! Velocity has ordered all personnel to evacuate! Since when does Dr. Velocity issue orders through the maintenance staff? You heard him! Evacuate! Took you long enough. Would you have moved faster if there was a touch of peppermint mixed in? Now let's see if I can convince you to take down Dr. Lizard Breath's surveillance system for me. A dash of strawberry peach, maybe a hint of lavender honeysuckle. And now to pick up a couple of friends. You guys coming? Way to go! I thought we'd never get out of there! Thanks, Boz. Thank Caruso. It was his idea. Caruso, scented moisturizers and ants. Combined score, 10 points. Velocity surveillance records, zero. Wanna get out while the going's good? What about the ants? So, who's ready to de-use some mute ants? Chilling? It's good. Chilling! Someone's in a bad mood. There's five of us, and you only have two Tyrannocycles? Max, didn't you think to bring the SUV? No worries, Fee. Mother Saurus is picking us up. Nice teamwork. It was all Caruso. The shortcut, the yoga, the lotions that made the ants go bonkers. Even without me, you would have found a way to get free. Maybe, maybe not. But the point is, you did save us. And you did it your way. As I was saying before, given the right situation, even the most unlikely talents can prove invaluable. And in this situation, your talents meant the difference between freedom and captivity for the rest of us. I never thought of it like that. Maybe you should. You really do bring a lot to the team, even if we didn't say so earlier. We didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I have an idea. Instead of going straight home, why don't we take a little detour and celebrate? Ah, this is the life. I've been thinking, Crusoe. Maybe we should pool our talents. My ants and your lotions. We could do a combined science project illustrating... The effects of pheromones on ants affecting their ability to work as a team. Exactly. Nice. Next time, we'll have to bring Rump along, too. Huh? What? Don't you think our dino dog would enjoy a little pampering? I'm in, I'm in, in the dino squad. 
don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.